we are going to talk about the ground support machine responsible for starting an aircraft engine. It is called an air start unit or in short ASU. We will begin with introducing the ASU. We will look at an aircraft engine's starting mechanism and the role ASU plays in starting a jet engine. We will move on to discuss the main components and specifications of an ASU and conclude the discussion with how ASU can be used for running onboard air conditioning on an aircraft. We have already studied the sequence of activities that take place between an aircraft landing and takeoff. Jet engines are turned off when the aircraft reaches the bay and are started at aircraft pushback when aircraft is ready for departure. This is the point where an ASU jumps in. ASU is the machine that supplies air pressure and airflow for starting aircraft's jet engines. Aircraft primary engines need external support to start. It is analogous to an automobile engine in this respect. Just like an automobile engine is fitted with a self-starter motor to start the engine, after which you can control its speed with the help of throttle, you can think of ASU as serving the exact same purpose. ASU starts the main jet engines, after which ASU is disconnected and pilots take control over the throttle to control the speed of the aircraft engines. The most obvious question is, is there no electric motor to start a jet engine just like an automobile engine? There must be a big motor that could do that. The answer is simple. Yes, there is, but there is a catch. Do you remember when we talked about the working principle of a jet engine? Let's look at it again. In simple terms, a jet engine has a fan, rotary compressor blades, and turbine blades all mounted on a common shaft referred to as a spool. When air that has been heated in the combustion chamber passes through the turbine blades, turbine blades extract energy and make the spool rotate. That makes the fan and compressor blades rotate because they are all mounted on the same shaft. As more and more fuel is allowed to enter the combustion chamber by throttle that is under the control of pilots, jet engine gains a speed until it is producing enough thrust to make the aircraft move. But the problem is, this whole cycle won't start by itself. To start the cycle, you need to get the shaft rotating for some time to generate enough airflow for the combustion chamber to take control. This initial rotation is provided by air starter motor. Okay, so it is simple. There is a motor just turn it on and the jet engine will start. Yes and no. The problem is, air starter motor doesn't run on electricity. If we pay attention to the design of an air starter motor, we will find that it has a turbine, a gearing mechanism, a clutch, and then finally jet engine drive shaft. That makes the engine rotate. It works when compressed air or bleed air is received at its input. This air passes through the turbine and leaves as low pressure air out of the motor. Turbine extracts energy from this pressurized air and makes the engine drive shaft rotate. The engine drive shaft is coupled to the spool with the help of a gearbox and makes the spool rotate to start the engine. Once the engine has gained enough speed to sustain itself with the help of combustion chamber, ASU is disconnected and pilots take control of the throttle. Bleed air can be provided by APU, but APU is often not turned on due to reasons discussed in the GPU lecture. The next option is the main aircraft jet engine. If any one of the main engines is running, it can provide bleed air to the air starter motor of the other jet engine. 
but both of the main engines are turned off when an aircraft is parked on the bay. This is where air starter unit plays its role. It starts one of the main engines which then turns on the other main engine and the aircraft is good to go. The main specifications of an ASU are simple. It's air pressure capacity and its air flow rate. The air pressure in the range of 42 psi is generally common and services most aircrafts, whereas the air flow rate is larger for larger aircrafts. Its main components are very simple. It is just an engine-driven air compressor with electrical protections and an air discharge hose for making connection with the aircraft. Before concluding the discussion, please recall that we talked about air cycle machine that runs air conditioning system of an aircraft and we discussed that it runs on bleed air. Since ASU provides compressed air as an alternate of bleed air, it can also be used for running onboard air conditioning system of the aircraft by allowing the air cycle machine to run on compressed air supplied by ASU. With this, we conclude our discussion on ASU. See you in the next lecture.